Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to look at the Species 8472 Behemoth. This ship is gargantuan. Somebody in the comments suggested this ship a while back, so I thought we'd see if Starfleet can repel one of these things. So we're going to see if the Behemoth can take down Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine is also going to be defended by an up-to-date Picard-era fleet. In terms of power, the Behemoth is much more powerful than a standard Undyne bioship. Will Starfleet prevail, or will the weak perish? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. So, we've got a massive Federation fleet bearing down on us, and hilariously, we've got four runabouts. There's the station. Okay, so look at that, we can fire three beams, but ooh, the station shields are holding. Let's go after the ships. Look at the power of this ship. Those three beams almost remind me of the planet beam that we saw in the Voyager episode with Species 8472 when they took out that Borg planet. Wow. Look at the size of our shield grid as well, it's huge. Ah, oh, we're just one-shotting Durda stats here. We are taking some damage to the shields, though. These are Picard-era ships, so their phasers, torpedoes, and shields do have a bit of an upgrade compared to the TNG-era spec. We also have torpedoes, which I've not even used yet. I'm going to save those for DS9. And we've just got the Titan A, Enterprise G, Neo Constitution 3, there's so many names for it. And there's another one. The Shangri-La refit, that could be another. Okay, now on to DS9. So we have plasma torpedoes of some type. Oh, look at that beam. Oh dear! Oh! That was... Uh... What? Okay, Q? well, I'm not entirely sure what Lower happened there. Some theories I have are maybe Quark and the Chief Comedian did a deal with Q. DS9 has been heavily upgraded and it's now equipped with 5,000 quantum torpedoes. I have tried this battle with the Federation fleet on our side, and unfortunately the game crashes every single time, but the fleet gets wiped out pretty quickly anyway. Let's see, the RBG Deep Space Nine can make a difference. Oh, no. Oh, look at that, it's so resistant to firepower. I do have another ship that I've thought of to put up against it. Oh man, that never happens! But did we take out the behemoth? I don't know! But let's try going after a bigger target. Third yep, we're going to go after the big one. The Death Star. Well, the Death Star 2. So, it's not fully constructed, but still has a planet beam. Oh my goodness! That was very unsporting, Mr. Darth. So I'm going to try and get out of the way of the planet beam. Ah, there we go. The Death Star's Achilles heel is get out of the way of the planet beam. At 50%. We've blown a hole in the side of the Death Star. There it goes. That has to be the smallest explosion I've ever seen. So it can't stand up to the planet killer beam from the Death Star, but it's more than capable of destroying it. Just don't get in the way of the beam. Yes, Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.